Hi, friend. Welcome. My name is Sarah Chansey. I am so incredibly honored that you're here. I'm assuming that you're watching this video because you're interested in learning about how to become a wedding planner or how to plan your own wedding or your friend's wedding, or you're just kind of thinking about wedding planning. And you're interested in how someone launches a business that will actually start contributing financially to your family. And I am thrilled that you're here on this video because that is something that gets me so excited. As I said, my name's Sarah, and I actually started the company Chansey Charm. We are a national wedding planning and design firm with planners located across the country, serving clients domestically and internationally. And I started this whole thing with about $300 and a lot of hard work. As cliche as it sounds, I was literally sitting in a park with my husband in Denver, Colorado, on my day off from working at Chick-fil-A and was like, you know, I really think that there's more out there for me. I really want to start using my creative skills, my organizational skills. I love events. I love marketing. I had a design degree and I really wanted to use that. And I really wanted to serve people. And I said, you know, weddings are so amazing and wonderful. And it's such a special season in someone's life, but it can also be really stressful. And I want to serve people in that. I want to love on them in that season. And so I started Chansey Charm, begged one of my friends to let me do her wedding. That was my very first wedding uh, down in a huge park in Denver and learned a lot of lessons from day one about logistics and all the things. And from there, I just kept pushing and growing. And so I have a huge heart and passion for other women to do that. In fact, the reason why I launched 13 locations, I actually launched more than that, some successes and some failures. And I want you to hear me say that failures, because it hasn't just been this glistening road of glitter for me. There have been failures and I've basically taken my successes and failures and what has been a success. And now I've started teaching that to other planners. And I shouldn't even use the word now because I've actually been teaching planners how to plan weddings and then the heart behind what I love doing, how to launch a profitable wedding planning business since 2014. So I've had hundreds of planners join my academy. I have over a hundred five-star reviews and I just started collecting them probably a little over a year ago. and. I love doing what I do. I love seeing the success stories. I love getting that review that's like, this content helped me go from a college student to someone with a successful business. And so really I started launching new locations and doing all of that. And I had a team of over 30 women because I wanted to help other women have the dream career that I felt like I had. And at some point was like, okay, realistically though, I can't continue just growing so much like this. I've got to start just helping other people build their brand. And so that is what I love to do. That's what gets me out of bed every day. And that is what we're going to do in this video. We're going to dive into my top two kind of three-ish tips for launching not only a wedding planning business that you love, but also one that contributes financially to your family. Because for me, as a newlywed in Denver, I kind of started realizing that I felt like I was up against a brick wall. I loved my work. I loved what I was doing. I was doing marketing and events with Chick-fil-A, but I also felt like at some point I'm going to have kids and I'm going to want to be at home with them more. That's why I actually got an interior design degree and working in corporate America or doing all these things. That's not really going to fit with the flexibility that I want Monday through Friday to be there for my kids. And so maybe that's hitting a chord with you. Uh, I actually have a personal vision statement for the Academy and for all that I teach here on YouTube. And it's to help women have a creative career that they love with freedom and flexibility to focus on their faith and family. And I really do mean that. I love helping women just get into a place where they feel so fulfilled and they love what they're doing, but they're also getting paid appropriately for it. And they're contributing to their family financially, but they're also able to be there for their kids. And it just makes me really happy. So I love seeing those success stories come through. And I want to help you launch not only a business where, yes, you know how to plan a wedding. That's so important. And I have that content too, but you also know how to attract the client that you want to work with 
for me, when I started Chancy Charm, I was basically using images from my wedding and my sister's wedding, and it wasn't attracting the kind of client that I really wanted to work with. And I actually met with someone who does branding, and she kind of helped me see myself better than I even saw myself. And I hope that this is a little bit of a pump up for you as well to dream big. So the first tip I'm going to give you if you're launching your business and really looking to create something that's going to generate great income for your family is to to hire a photographer to do a brand shoot. I know that making an investment is really hard right now, but I really encourage you, there's gonna be two investments I want you to make here, and I really encourage you to lean in and do it. You're not gonna regret it. So a brand shoot is where you set up, let's say a little table with some place cards, a little, some flowers. You might be able, you might have to buy these things. You might have to do this and work with a florist, but you also highly likely will be able to ask a couple of vendors to partner with you and put something together so that you can get these and they can get these images as well. And actually, that's something I did when I first started Chancy Charm and working towards a luxury client is that I started partnering with other vendors who were also new, who also wanted to attract a target client. And I'm like a luxury client. And I was like, hey, let's work together on this, build a portfolio kind of together. We can refer each other. It really, there was a lot of great synergy there and people brought their A game. So a brand shoot would be where you set up basically a table and you have a place basically to take some action shots. So the photographer, you're paying them to take action shots and head shots, but they're also going to take a couple of detail shots of the setup of the table or some flowers or whatever you want to bring. You can actually get a free minted invitation suite sent to your house and you can include that because we see that a lot on social media and images and you're going to take all of these images the headshot of you the action shots of you the detail shots of the table maybe a larger shot of the table a shot of an invitation suite and you're and don't worry i've got this all written down i know you're probably like okay sarah you're getting a little fast for me i talk really fast i apologize this is good stuff though so you're going to take all of these images and you're going to create two things you're going to create your website and your Instagram. Again, I can feel the anxiety rising here. I don't want you to create a website that's super fancy fancy in the beginning. You can hire someone to do that later on as your career continues to grow. And that's what I've done. But in the beginning, I created a very simple website. And now you're so lucky because now a one page website is like everything. So you have a one page website. It has a headshot. It has a little blurb about you. It has very short descriptions of your services. People are not there for the full list. That's what a consultation is going to be about. And I also teach people about those, but we're going to, you're going to have the about you, a little headshot. Please put a picture of you on there. They want to see your pretty face. So we're going to have a headshot. We're going to have a little bio. We're going to have some services and we're going to have a contact form and a link to our social media. So that's four different things on your viable website that will help you book clients. When you're looking for any kind of service out there, how much more legit? Do you feel like a business is when they have a website, one, even a one page website? It just makes it feel so much more legitimate. Like you've made that investment. Now, the crazy thing is there's so many great programs out there and you can hop in my wedding planner Facebook group and start asking some of the planners, where did, how did you make your website? Now I can recommend the top wedding planner of uh, maker website makers for you if you want but if you're just looking to get started and launch you don't need something that fancy so you have a one page website and again show them your face show them your action shots why because people want to see that you're a person and then you're going to have an instagram account all you need on that instagram account is at least 20 images you might be able to get all of those from a brand shoot or you can go somewhere like sourced co and purchase some images in your style in your aesthetic to be mixed in those are stock images that they they sell for wedding planners for wedding professionals you're going to mix those in and you are rolling you are rolling towards your target client with images that attract your target client you're showing your face you're winning over business before they even talk to you so i hope this was so helpful for you i am going to share my screen real quick because i'm hoping 
it's not going to let me do it. Here we go. Sorry, guys. Um, I'm really hoping that you will follow the link below and get my free wedding planner launch guide where I have all of this content detailed out because I know it was a lot. And actually, I have all five of my first essential steps to starting a wedding planning business that will actually pay. And inside my launch guide, there are action pages, there's resources that have helped save me time as I've launched my business. So all the programs I use to make working with clients easy and just feel really professional. And I've included three free styled stock photos from my friends at Source Co. So would love, love, love for you to join me and get my launch guide. You're going to be on my wedding planner VIP list. And I'm going to send you a lot of really great tips and tricks on that email list that are going to save you a lot of time and frustration, including day of coordination tips, which I know that was my first wedding was the day of coordination. And I was all kinds of nervous and I hope to help you avoid those nerves. So thank you so much for your time. I'm rooting for you and I hope to chat soon.